So hello, my name is Emil, and I want to showcase today how to uh, make a Azure DevOps uh, integration with the Debricked Software Composition Analysis Tool. Um, so to start off, I have uh, uh, created a repository here uh, in my Azure DevOps organization. Um, it has uh, very few files, but the files we need to, uh, that actually install some dependencies. So we are looking at an NPM project uh, using installing some um, uh, NPM packages, as we can see here. And I've also committed the uh, corresponding yarn lock file. Um, so to make the integration, we first go to pipelines. And then I can create a new pipeline. Um, so if I choose here to create one of these Git pipelines, um, I can just pick any template here and override this pipeline with our own uh, integration, uh, which you can find uh, in the Debricked documentation. So if you go to uh, debricked.portal.debricked.com, which is our community-driven uh, uh, forum, and our documentation is also here, uh, you can go to documentation and we can search for Azure DevOps and find the suggestion right here um, where you can read through how we integrate with the Azure DevOps pipelines and their YAML files. Um, but the main thing is that we have a default template and some special templates for different languages to get higher accuracy in our builds. Um, but this is getting uh, deprecated soon or er, there will only be one single template uh, but for npm we can go ahead and use the default template uh, so this takes us to our uh, debricked github uh, repository with co containing all the templates um, and uh, here we can see that it's a pretty standard um, azure pipelines uh, job here so i copy this and i uh, connect it here, uh, paste it in here. And then it's important that we, uh, to scan this, we actually need a token to uh, make sure that the debricked, uh, that we're posting uh, the scan results to the correct user and the correct login um, uh, of the debricked service. So, uh, and here we can see the, uh, that uh, the variable is named debricked token. So to do this, we create a new variable um, I already have created this one, but I will show you in the tool how we would like to, how we can create a new uh, token. So in the Debrick tool, you go to admin tools, and here you may you you need to uh, you need to be an admin user to create tokens, uh, and then we can go to uh, account settings here, and here we can see access tokens, and here you can generate a new token. Uh, you want one with only API access. And uh, we name our token. And then we have generated our new access, access token. Uh, we copy this. And we go into uh, our DevOps pipeline. Uh, so let's keep this token a secret and, uh, and name it correctly. I already have another token, so I'll name this the brick token two and save. And let's rename this, let's use that token as well. Um, and then I can run and save this pipeline. Uh, and I can commit this to the master branch. Uh, Uh, as we can see then, this, this file was committed to the repository um, and we can see that uh, we, have, uh, we have these scans ongoing now. And if we click into the scan, uh, we can see that the, the different steps that are performed. Um, 
And it took 12 seconds to make the actual debricked scan. And if we look at um, the output here, we can first see that we pulled the debricked uh, scanning image. And going down here and zoom in a bit, we can see that uh, uh, we can see in the CLI output the files we found and the files we actually uploaded to our servers to perform the scan on. And, and then we can see the different automation rules that were checked here. Um, so we can see that we have four rules to check. Um, for, here is one, if a new dependency is added where the license risk is at least medium, then notify the admin user group by emails. And we can see that this rule did not trigger, so we're fine. And we have a few other rules that did not trigger. But then we have, um, but then we have some vulnerabilities here. So if the dependency contains vulnerabilities, which has not been marked as unaffected, then send a pipeline warning. Uh, and this rule was triggered. Uh, and we can see uh, all the different CVEs, um, the CVS scores, which uh, dependency actually imported this, uh, has this vulnerability, as well as the license. Um, but uh, we're interested in all these different vulnerabilities here. Um, and as you see, you get a link to the tool for both the uh, dependency, uh, to view the dependency and all vulnerabilities in this dependency in this repository, as well as this, uh, this particular CVE uh, here as well. Um, and here we can see that we threw a pipeline warning. Um, and uh, I will soon showcase the pipeline failure as well. But let's, let's first just click one of these links um, and get into the brick tool. So as you can see, we have a repository, uh, which is my name, and the brick Azure DevOps test. You don't need to create this repository in the brick tool. Uh, as soon as you uh, make the Azure DevOps YAML file and have that integ uh, integration, we will pick out from pick up from the uh, from the Git files which repository we're in, and create all the necessary uh, things on our end. Uh, so uh, uh, the only configuration you need to do is on the Azure DevOps side, and when you perform the scan, we create all the assets that we need. Um, and here we can see that uh, we have the vulnerability, uh, all the information, uh, and we can, uh, from the different vendors, um, as I've shown before in regular demos. Um, let's uh, go into, we can see here that we have this rule that triggered, and we can actually add the, go to exactly this rule from this pipeline. Uh, so. Let's not close that window. Let's go to that rule here. And here we have this automation rule was one that triggered. And this only throws a warning. So let's change this to actually fail the pipeline. And then we generate the rule and we make sure that we save it as well. Uh, so now we can see that this has a failing, this rule will fail the pipeline. And uh, let's go to our repository and actually uh, make, make a file change here. Uh, so let's edit this file and just add a couple of uh, uh, blank spaces here and commit it to the main branch. And um, going back to pipelines, we can see that we need to rerun the pipeline here. So over here we have it. Um, so uh, the scan is being run. So let's um, let's wait for the scan to get picked up. And the brick this doing our thing. And we can see that we scanned these files in about uh, 11 seconds. And now uh, we have the a failing indication instead, seeing that we 
uh, with uh, the brick automations and policies are in control of this and uh, um, uh, that this automation rule triggered uh, with a failing output. Um, yeah, so that is uh, the showcase of uh, uh, the Jubrick software composition analysis tool um, within Azure DevOps. Uh, good luck uh, in your open source journey. And thank you for listening to, uh, to me for a couple of minutes. Goodbye.